Hello everyone, this is AK. In this short video, I am going to demonstrate the live speed test between Pandas and Spice Park. By running this speed test, you will get to know about how much speed differences between Pandas and Spice Park while reading a big data set. Before getting into this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe for more updates. Here I opened one notebook in Kaggle. The advantage of using Kaggle is, Kaggle itself writes some code for you initially. So with that code, we got the Pandas covered. Now for PySpark, we have to install the PySpark library. Here I wrote the command for installing the PySpark. Once PySpark got installed, we have to create one Spark session. Idea of creating the Spark session is very simple. Spark session will act as an entry point for accessing the Spark resources such as RDD and data frames. Without Spark session, we can't access the Spark resources. Okay. After creating the Spark session, I used the Spark to read one big data CSV file. The size of the file is around 1.4 GB. Additionally, in that command, I added one magic command called time it. Time it is basically help you to record the execution time of code piece that you write in the cell. Okay, so using the time it magic command, we can able to track the speed of Python command in the notebook environment. So let's run this cell to see the speed of PySpark. I have another cell here. I, wrote, I already wrote the code here. So let's run this cell. Look at that pandas took around 20 plus seconds to read the data. So it is because of major differences between both framework architectures. And if you want to know those differences, I dedicated a separate video for you. In that video, I explained the background functions between pandas and PySpark. See that video for complete understanding between them. So that's all about the speed test between pandas and PySpark. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next another video.